Hello, welcome. My name is Justin. This is lesson two uh, of the for the speaking module of the TOEFL Together course, and also the first virtual class. Let's jump straight in. This is the hook where we have video. Uh, video. Uh, before we watch the video, we might discuss a few questions. What would you like to do with your qualification and then watch the video for comparison? This is the hook where people consider the value of doing the, the TOEFL as well as the speaking, how they could use the speaking in, uh, in, in real life. So next we do the outcomes. We'll be able to describe the structure of the exam. There's four types of questions. They will be able to examine the scoring rubric and how to improve the quality of speaking. And then analyze, we'll be able to analyze exercises done during the session uh, and identify mistakes to develop an uh, improvement plan or a development plan. Uh, this is the agenda. It's quite a tight agenda, to be honest. There's an introduction of 10 minutes. Topic one is 45. Topic two is 40, followed by feedback. I really wanted to design a plan that had a lot of feedback or a time for feedback, followed by takeaways and next steps. So recap. Recap is in reference to the preparation for this virtual class, which was lesson one, e-learning, multimedia e-learning. We have here um, the activation for topic one. Uh, this is a poll from Mentimeter, and it asks a few questions about the requirements for the four types of questions. This is the content for the first question, which is called independent speaking. This is a practice and a little bit of uh, help with this structural plan. So they practice this in class, timed by the teacher. Next, we have question two. Again, this would be the more the content part of it. We have a few tips here. More uh, revision from what was con this is connected to the lesson one e-learning, followed by a practice where you can have a reading timed by the teacher and you have a listening. That's true, but think about it. Have you ever seen the space completely full? Wow. And, a, and then a summary. And then next we move into topic two, which again is uh, activation with a poll just to see how, how much people know about the, the elements to achieve a high score. So content here for question one, followed by practice. The practices here is actually a listening comprehension exercise where they listen to a model answer, sometimes by another student, so it could be a peer. So they're actually listening and comparing their, uh, their, their answers to somebody else's and discussing the different um, elements that, that uh, make up a good answer. Um, summary for two, I've actually included here a link to Lesson 3 e-learning and then a, a hint. I wanted to hint as much as possible about the TOEFL Together Forum, which is the social learning aspect for this, you know, to suggest that they can connect with their mentor and post questions and comments. And then this is the close. You've got three parts to the close. Breakout rooms um, was important for me. I wanted to give 10 minutes and I wanted to give to structure their conversation with four questions here to be discussed. And then that's followed by five minutes of group feedback. So the whole group after the breakout rooms get to share their experience. And then we have a page for takeaway. But the module three toolkit is very much a real document um, uh, full of links and videos and practical information. And the form is uh, just a, a facade, just to include the, the again, to, to repeat the importance of social learning 
and give the learner more options. And that link works too. Followed again by the agenda for the next class.